I was molding a little bit. I was absolutely molding him a little bit. Yes. Not having a good time on Saturday. Because of the stupid nuclear. But also not just the nuclear, also the power weapons in general. Can I fly? Yo, I need my spider thing. If I can use my spider robot to go around these places, I'm gonna be happy. Don't worry, there's more shit. We're laughing. Whoa, you're gonna laugh at me? You're gonna make fun of me? Memory? Whoa, okay. I I didn't realize you were... Okay. A distractor? Immed or intermediate type of combat robot stays on the deployed position to shoot and distract enemies? I'm never using that. Increases damage of fire-based weaponry. I don't even have fire-based weaponry. The beacon transmits the effect of upgrade modules to nearby friendly entities. What? Transmits the effect of modules to nearby friendly entities. Huh. Interesting. That sounds pretty nice. This, I guess, is one of the things I should be focusing on next. Basically, it requires my current recipes plus lube. Tons and tons of lube. I may want to start storing my loop into something bigger than barrels, man. That's what she said? Really? That surprises me a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna need an absurd amount of iron. I wanna do a loop pipeline. Yeah. Straight to my house. Or a belt rotter. I think I've already done that, no? That's what I was going to do anyways. Here's my loop. I think this will be enough loop for the rest of the game, guys. Look at it. There's a little bit of it. Okay, I will skill this, I guess. Do I not have enough chemical plants? Seriously? Lubricants. Lubricants, bunny. But since I'm a child, I've decided to uh, call it loop instead. I'm sure you appreciate it. Don't mean to call you out in particular or whatever, but I'm just saying, I think you probably do. Um, I'm gonna put lubricants on the belt. Right next to my sulfuric acid. Yeah. Loop is always a no, 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 no. Begin planning Black Friday purchases right now. Guys, you already have the most important thing a man can have. A subscription to my stream. <laughs> why, why do you guys need anything more? I don't understand. What else is there to buy? What are you guys, what are you, what are you missing right now? Do you really need something else? You're not buying anything? Well, that's because you're already subbed, Heart Nipper. Poggers. See? Yeah, we actually practiced that, chat. We, me, me and Heart Nipper, we practiced that yesterday. Off stream. To make sure that that timing was right. Perfectly. Now, if you want to be as cool as Heart Nipper, guess what you can do? You know that money that's burning a hole in your bank account? You could spend it on this channel and never see ads again. 
I'm just saying. God, I'm such a good tellout. This is, yeah. Yeah, I can get rid of these. That's not really gonna achieve much. Uh, my personal solar, I guess I can get rid of those as well. Is there a way to get stuff and support you? Like, for example, clothing or drinkware? Well, I'm so glad you ask. There is indeed a, uh, a website called www.loco.shop. You cannot drink your... Well, you could drink your t-shirt, but that's kind of effort. I, I don't think I recommend doing that. But you could get a shirt that um, says GG, for example, or a mug that says GLHF. And then GG on the other side. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Did you know we ship from all over the world? Well, not everywhere, I guess, but... No bullshit, at least, if you live in, for example, the beautiful country of Europe with, like, import from the States. Drink your t-shirt, wear your mug. You could wear a mug, if you try hard enough. All right, sellout deactivated. Thank you, guys. Excellent work, Bunny Warren. Excellent work, Heartnapper. Solid sellout. I don't know if we delivered to North Korea. I'm not sure if we do, honestly. Can I make my uh, Giga thing yet? My Giga outfit? I guess we'll just make 25 of these things. Okay, so basically I just want to pick up a load of greens and a reds. These are expensive, dude. Oh no, I don't want the level threes. We want the level, yeah, that's the one we want. It's literally faster to automate? Well, I'm already too committed. Maybe I should be automating them regardless, though. This is gonna take a little bit, isn't it? Um, okay. So. What about the spider? I have this thing, the Spider-Tron. Jeez Louise, these things are expensive too. How's the old school RuneScape going? Uh, we gained 213 range stick speed today, 213k, not bad. While AFKing on the stream. It is a bit of a slow skill to level though, so it's gonna take a lot longer than that to get to level 90 plus. Currently hit level 86. The fact that it takes a fish to make is pretty hilarious, yeah. It takes more than an hour to handcraft 50 tier 2 modules? Do I have use for these tier 2 modules at a later stage as well, guys? Like, should I just automate it and just get it over with? Because I have plenty of other things to do. Where's the loop? Lubricants! Wasn't it over here? Is it that much further to the right? Oh yeah, it is. Oh wow, okay. The tier 2s and tier 3s are expensive. 
Let's see what I need for the white science. Whoa, what the f... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. What? It says satellite over here. But that's not the white science. Allow sending satellites into space and receiving scientific data from them used to produce space science packs. So making one of these is the rocket that I that I need to like win the game. I thought there was a separate research for that. I thought I saw something separately for that. Hmm, okay. I'll be running this line for now. The satellite is a payload for the rocket. So I guess I'm gonna need to figure out how to do rockets as well before then, huh? A lot of enemies coming in from the north the entire time. This is just me running the lubricant all the way to the right side of the belt as well. So I put sulfuric acid and lubricants on the belt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I don't want you guys connecting. Oh, thank you for saving me, game. That was almost a disaster. Luckily, apparently, it can't be a disaster. That's neat. Okay, let's have a look at our nuclear. Do you have a backlog yet? <gasps> is that what I think it is? No, it's not. Never mind. I got excited. How many of these does it hold? I figured it would only have one for an additional setup. It can hold up to 52? Okay. So we're about to get a, a little bit of a bonus there. It can hold 80? Hmm. I guess one thing I should do... Is just, uh, give myself a bit of time here. There we go. I want to grab some filter inserters, I guess. And filter the 238. So hopefully things are going to work out a little bit faster. So they can just grab all of this junk off of the belt, and then hopefully these things will actually produce some additional 235. That would be neat. It's not fast, but it'll do a little bit faster. This is where the speed module comes in handy. So how do modules work? I have a module right over here. Say I want to put in a speed module into this machine. Increases machine speed at a cost of increased energy consumption. Ah, okay. That's it. So these things are real slow. Like, anything that speeds this up is better than not speeding it up. What's going on, Solar Flare Gaming? You didn't know I played Factorio? I play a little bit of everything, honestly. So I have a bit of a surplus over here. This is going to hold thousands. Um, maybe I shouldn't be doing this just yet. <laughs> Can I control X this right over here? 
That's not what I meant. No, stop it. Can I cancel this? Uh, this is the first time I'm trying out Control X. Ah! What are you guys doing right now? Fucking robots. I mean, fudging, fudging robots. Yeah, this is not what I meant. Okay. We'll store it all up there. <laughs> oh god, this is annoying. It's not what I meant. I thought Control X allowed me to move things. But it's not quite moving, it's cutting. Which I guess is what Control X is. Why do I carry two blueprints in my bag? I don't know. This one I guess can go. This one was for upgrading stuff, but I don't really need that anymore either, because we have upgraded everything. Are you being mean to me right now, Sysadmin? Whoa, what have I ever done to you, huh? Can't believe it. Toxic Twitch chatters. You're being more mean to Elon? Oh, okay. You were playing Factorio today and you looked at Twitch and you saw me streaming it? Very nice. How are you enjoying the game? Are you at uh, a thousand plus hours yet? That seems to be where uh, the average guy in the chat currently is at. At about a thousand hours of playtime for Factorio. You can put it in a blueprint book? Oh, you're at 99 and a half hours? Okay, well... You're at 1,337 hours of playtime in Apex Legends? Really? That's a lot of Apex, man. That might be too much, Apex, honestly. You're really new? You think you only have 120 hours? <laughs> I love how you actually consider yourself really new. Only 120 hours. God, this game really is something, huh? I'm at a mere 96 hours, bro. I have not even touched the surface. I also haven't touched grass in weeks. What's going on here? Where's my sulfuric acid going? I don't have sulfuric acid! Oh no, Chet. I need some sulfuric acid. But now that my miners are up and running again, apparently I don't have sulfuric acid. Either that or I hit- oh, I hit tab. <laughs> or sorry, alt. I hit alt on the keyboard. I thought I was out of sulfuric acid for a moment. Turns out I just hit alt. No more panic, we're all good. Sulfuric ass it? Alright. Really getting a little desperate now, Bali, but fair enough. No more panic. No, 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 no. I am consuming it, though. No? I uh, spent a bunch of time killing the, the Zerg. No more biters. Yeah, there are some biters up here. Dude, these modules take a long ass time. Holy crap. They really do. What the heck, man? Okay. I probably want to be automating them. But I'm also very stubborn. So out of principle, I kind of feel like not automating them. Even though it doesn't do me any good. I'll look into the logistics tree here next. I think that's what we're gonna do. What's going on, Tanker? Thank you very much. Or, I mean, thank you very much. <laughs> Lucky, you're so funny. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you. Far too kind. Okay, um... If I want to do the big boy upgrades, I am gonna need... Loads and loads and loads of stuff. 
So this is iron gear wheels, wheels, iron gear wheels, iron gear wheels. Oh my god, this is gonna be so pricey. I don't know if I want to do that, man. Top notch comedy, that's why you're here. Doesn't get any better. This is kind of pretty and creepy at the same time. I find these trees very annoying. Seriously, ay yeah yeah. Get out of here, trees! Can't even go and admire my solar panels. Bum, ba, da, dum. What's my overall play time? Uh, well, currently it's at about a hundred hours, apparently. I think I need to manually place these myself. How can I delete? Hold up, so let's see. How do I delete trees? Blacklist trees? Is that possible? Oh, yes. All trees. Do I have to manually select every single type of tree? Is that what the game is making me do? The clicks of shame? Oh, trees and rocks only. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <gasps> ah. We were negatively not removing the trees. Which made it a bit confusing for everybody involved. But I know at least a dozen of you saw that coming in from a mile away. Wipe that smile off your face. I can imagine it. <laughs> oh, he's gonna delete all the solar panels. Look at this, he's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Absolutely, Joran. What are you guys doing? No, 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 I, no I've, I used the wrong thing. I had the thingy, but I didn't have... What? This is before I updated the recipe. Stop smiling! Don't do it. It was a double negative tree delete, okay? Can happen to the best of us. I just want to be able to walk. Get out of here, nature. Why do Protoss players upgrade armor before shields? Generally, there's more value in shields. Or less value in shields unless you're going mass Arkle. That's about it. But you do see shields first, though, sometimes with Archon based builds. It's become more popular as of late. <sighs> okay.
What's going on here? No, this is very cursed. Not allowed. Not allowed. Cancelled. Cancelled. Everybody gets cancelled. It's like Twitter in 2017. Or whenever that was. You get cancelled. You get cancelled. Everybody gets cancelled. I haven't heard about people getting cancelled in a while now, Chet. How boring. It was kind of exciting for a little while, but then it got a bit annoying too, I guess. Yeah, I'm getting- I'm cancelling people that are not getting cancelled. Wait, no. I'm cancelling the sake of not cancel- what? Mm. I cancelled a cancelling. Yeah, it's like a double negative. It's like tr when you're trying to delete trees, but you're not actually deleting trees, but you're deleting everything else but the trees instead. That's relatable, right? <laughs> Everybody can relate to that. I'm not sure whether or not I should buy this game. On the one hand, it looks good and it's not too expensive. On the other hand, I already have loads of management slash strategy games. This is uh, like a strategy game that uh, is a... If you enjoy Dyson Sphere or like, for example, Satisfactory, I think you'll enjoy this too. But this game is called Cractorio. For good reason. The question is, do you wanna, yeah, do you wanna spend that much? Factorio is the granddad of those games? Yeah, but somehow also like the more competent granddad, you know? Like you'd imagine that most of the time, as a granddad, you would hope that like your kids and their kids' kids are gonna do a better job than you did. But somehow it turns out that they've kind of peaked with grandpa, you know? It's like generational wealth. It's supposed to be gone after a couple generations, apparently. Like grandpa worked real hard and then the grandkids just kind of like... ...sat around and bought stuff. Why do you have other factory games and not Factorio? Eh, I mean they're all a little different, right? A lot of people write off these type of games mostly because of the graphics too. That's actually a pretty big thing. I used to not play pixel games for a long time. Which is kind of dumb. Like that was my only reasoning. There wasn't really any reasoning, I guess. A lot of people are not necessarily fan of, of the the pixel art style. These days, I'm, a, I'm a, yeah, I really like it, but that's definitely a consideration. It's not really a pixel game, no, true, but it's still 2D. But yeah, some of my favorite games over the last couple of years have been 2D. Yeah, but Satisfactory is just not this- I, I don't really like f Satisfactory very much. I find it not very Satisfactory at all. Sprite games, maybe that's a better way to put it, sure. So I have a backlog for Blue Science. Black? I actually, it's green science that's my bottleneck, which is kind of funny because this is a pretty easy recipe. Alright, we just doubled uh, the production of that pretty quick. 
Red Science is now bottlenecking. Oh, you love to see it, man. That moment when your Red Science is the bottleneck. Low hot? See, that's an appropriate use for low hot chat. <laughs> Excellent. Why is there a fish on your hotbar? I like to eat them raw. We're wriggling. I'm basically Smeagol. That's what she said? I think Smeagol is a he. Loco, if you could own any firearm you wanted, what would it be? I don't want to have a firearm, bro. I don't want to have any. A trebuchet? Okay, you know what? What about a rocket launcher? Great for the memes, other than that? No, I would rather not. Are these things still underway? Do I, how do I know if they're underway? I think they're coming, maybe. No one's gonna mess with a guy with a rocket launcher. You're not wrong, I guess. No, I don't own any guns. People don't really own guns in the Netherlands, man. I have been working out, that's true. I've been working out for a long time. Those are the only guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dutch don't like freedom? No. A lot of police officers in the Netherlands don't even have guns. I feel like that, like, that would probably blow a lot of American, like, minds. It's not uncommon to see a police officer in the city not carrying a gun. Yep. Many of them do, but... Not necessarily. Can I have the bots paving for me? How could I have the bots paving the world for me? Let's see. Um, upgrade planner. Upgrade the floor. Oh, I can make a blueprint for it, really? Oh! Paint the world! Make it a better place! Bring it, minions! Sorry. There they go! Bave the world! Well, the reason, I guess, why a lot of police officers in the States need to have, a, like, a gun by default is because everybody can, you know, mostly everybody anyways, can probably get a gun, so it's... <laughs> ah, there's benefits and negatives to everything. Sounds kind of scary, though, to be a police officer. I 
I don't think I have enough stone income anymore, guys. Oh, well, I've already paved most of this. Do I have enough power at night? Uh, so currently my power is coming from accumulators and they are slowly uncharging. Basically, I guess what we're looking for is whether or not the accumulators ever hit zero. So the accumulators are the orange? Yeah, they do hit zero. No, actually, that's their production. Hold up, how would I see this? Is there a way for me to see if the accumulators are ever uncharged? So they are providing power. I don't quite understand how to read this screen. Yeah, the steam engines, I guess, last a little bit over here, but that's also while the electricity for the solar panels is ramping. I know in the Netherlands specifically, so my dad used to work for the police, right? Um, they would have to have like a gun license checked constantly. So like, I think it's once a quarter, they would have to pass a certain set of like athleticism tests, plus like, you know, ability to actually shoot. And my dad at some point, like, um, I don't know if they've changed this, but he basically mentioned that like, he was like 62 years old or whatever, and he would be held to the same standard as the guys that are like 18. So he would have to run the exact same speed, he would have to do the same number of push ups the whole shebang. Um, so a lot of police officers at some point when they reach a certain age either like switch to some sort of, um, if I understand correctly anyways, to some sort of like office job instead of like working on the street. But yeah, it's, um, it's handled very differently around the world. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Why am I building more accumulators? I actually don't know. This is like a reverse paving, I guess. Should I not be building more now? I guess once I have nuclear going, I don't really need it anymore. Yeah, so my accumulators are fully charged. I have 3.6k of them. Okay, you're right. Maybe I am getting a little carried away. To be fair though, other than the resources that are wasted, it doesn't matter that much. Right, so how are my efficiency models going? They're going, slowly. I'm gonna hand build this freaking thing, dude. Mostly out of spite of the video game, even though I probably should be automating it. Is this the final gear upgrade, by the way? Uh, Power Armor Mark II, is there another upgrade after this? Some of these recipes are becoming pretty nuts. I should really not be automatic, or I should really not be doing it the way that I am. That's the final one? Okay, cool. I was gonna say, I don't think I see anything else anymore. Wait, am I already automating these things? I am automating... The, oh no, it's the productivity module that I'm upgrading. Okay. That's a different one that I need. No, I need speed and efficiency. This is productivity. Loco, what about swords? I can actually... I don't think you can own a sword in the Netherlands. I don't, I don't think you can technically have one. I don't really know exactly how it works, but I'm fairly sure you can't just go and have a sword. I don't have police officer swords. Yeah, that's a very good point. One thing that police officers do actually do where a lot of like problems in the Netherlands whenever there's like some sort of riot going on. I don't know if that's a very typical Dutch thing. But they have the politie de part, of politie de part, which is like basically the police on horseback. Is that a thing in other countries? That may just be a very Dutch thing. It 
It sounds kind of funny, I guess, but it's intimidating as hell. You don't fuck with horses. Yeah. Usually for sporting events and stuff? Yeah, I've seen them quite a bit for like protests and whatnot. There's also bicycle police. Absolutely, yes. This is a real thing, man. Polizzi biker. There you go. So these are police officers that ride around on bicycles in cities. Horseback police is a thing in lots of places? Okay. How intimidated are you right now, guys? When you're walking around the city and a police officer on a bicycle comes towards you? This guy's a badass. He's going the wrong way on the- Oh, <laughs> he is going the wrong way! Dude, this guy, coolest kid in class for sure. Arrows pointing the opposite direction. Wow! No, I think the go-to, I think the build order is to uh, ask for backup whenever you have some sort of serious thing going on. They are allowed to arrest you, but hard to drag somebody along on a bicycle, I guess. I guess a lot of it is just de-escalating though, right? Like, uh, they're not really... Uh I'm getting all these basic upgrades, mostly because I'm a coward with upgrading all the other shit. I probably should just bite the bullet. Alright, we're gonna start automating... Conveyor belts. The tier 3 conveyor belts, that is. I need lubricants, iron gear wheels, and fast transport belts. <clears throat> What's going on, Krellor? Good morning. Rollerblade cops? No, no, we don't have rollerblade cops in the Netherlands. Although now that you mention it, we should. Absolutely. Is it time for me to get rid of this iron mine over here? Two reasons. It's taking up space. One reason. It's taking up space. Yeah, it's time for me to get rid of it. Thank you, iron mine. We love you very much. But you've been replaced. Thank you. Thank you, Iron Mine. I'm gonna have to power some things back up, I guess. Nice. Um, ah. I'm currently uh, a little occupied here making uh, things that aren't very useful. You know, one thing I should just do is automate the production as well. <laughs> of these stupid things. Maybe I should just switch over to substations entirely, huh? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Copper plates, steel plates, advanced circuit. It's French. Are you guys still not powered? Oh shit, I didn't realize you guys weren't powered. Oh god. Uh, this was powering everything? Are you guys good again? You guys all happy? Alright. Pave the world. Make it a better pla- Okay, good. We'll do substations. So advanced circuits, steel plates, copper plates. So steel is gonna go over here. Nice. A little bit of spaghetti over here then, I guess? So I have to go over here. Nice. 
No, jeez. Sometimes the autosave gets me in this game, dude. Perfect. Wait, can I not make that turn? Guys, why do I not make the turn? Oh, I can, but the tunnel is in reverse? Oh, okay, you may be onto something. I did it. Thank you. Okay. Iron. Going straight up there. Perfect. Nice little swirl over here. You love to see it. Iron together with uh thingies. Advanced circuits, copper plates. Are you the advanced circuits? Why are you guys being made over here? Follow-up question, why is my- Ah! It's fine. Why are my advanced circuits so uh, lame? Why are you guys not producing, huh? 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 Why are you- Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to get angry, but like... Seriously though, bro? I will, uh... Literally increase you right now, dude. Dude, robots are amazing. Summon the lurkers? Are the lurkers coming? Okay. I want to be splitting off the conveyor belt. Somewhere over here, preferably. Um. Oh, there's a giveaway! Yo, Bunny Warren, starting up a giveaway in Twitch chat. You can hit exclamation point enter to win this beautiful mug. Wow, look at it. You can also have a G hell have right over here. That's amazing. Thank you. Should I be doing a Black Friday sale too, guys? I haven't even already considered that. Um, sorry, sorry, coming through. I should decrease Brian's text-to-speech to one bit. That's dangerous, dude. You can make Brian talk the entire stream for like six bucks. <laughs> Is that really what you want? <laughs> the entire stream. 700 quintillion, 777 quadrillion, 700... That's what you want. I don't know, man. I'm not sold on it, personally. Brian reading a novel. <laughs> Brian is just doing a whole Lord of the Rings. The path go to 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 down to the door where it be. <laughs> Ryan starts at the beginning. <laughs> She's doing the whole thing. Do 
Brian reads Moby Dick. Um. Substation. Speaking of substation, can I intro? No, 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 no. Uh, I have a problem, guys. I have no power poles. I think I can remove a couple of redundant ones over here. Perfect. I can power it up. Well, perfect might not be the entirely right word, but it'll do the trick. Okay, so I want you to be producing the sup stagion, as they call it in France. Congratulations, Gattle Gun! Thank you again, Bunny Warren. Give me a stack of those. Down to the door and begin. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow. <laughs> what is this? What did you just. That was, uh, I don't know what I just heard, but yeah, you're technically right, I guess. I don't recognize that. No, 